I think I remember this from when I was younger. 1981, 67 to 88. 80s, I think, from my memory, Britain's number one crisp with some random facts on the back. We can still read these, even though that is 40 years old. Pretty, pretty disgraceful, really. All of this was found in one place on the beach, buried in the sand on one of my beach cleans. I'm Sarah Robinson, I'm a mum of two and I'm an environmentalist. I can't believe that I found somebody's picnic from 40 years ago buried in the beach and it's still in near perfect condition. Plastic generally is about a thousand years to break up and of course that would then turn into microplastics. I was pretty shocked actually that uh, there was so much in one place because I'm used to finding it sporadically, um, often in the sand dunes or on the shoreline. So to find so much in one place was really quite sad. It did make me feel disheartened really that after 40 years all this stuff is still there and you know they threw it away but there is no way is there. It was, it was stuck there where they buried it 40 years ago. We won't start picking up as we get on the beach, we walk along the beach and then as we come back we'll pick up along the way. And also you get a nice walk on the beach and you get the pleasures of being by the sea and all the benefits that brings, but also then you're doing something on the way back. And often by doing that as well people are interested, so you gain interest and in education I suppose, because people will say to you, Oh, what have you found? Or where did you get that from? And they were praising of what we were doing. And I said, well, it literally, if you're enjoying a walk on the beach, why can't you, on your way back, pick up too? We all are guilty of contributing to the plastic that's in our environment, of consumer culture, and of buying into what we're told to, to have. This is my way and my children's way of trying to do something back, to educate others. There is no way when we throw away and to just have a more clean living lifestyle where possible.